Hello, welcome back to Let's Play uh, The Walking Dead, Episode 3. Long road ahead. In the last episode, we got the train moving and we met a get mad named Chuck. And then our game looped itself. And then the train took off. Um, I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. At least this episode because my battery is about to die. And I don't. My battery, my controller is about to die, and I don't know where my USB cord is. So this may be the last episode there is for today. Oh yeah, and we beat and we beat Kenny. We beat some sense into Kenny. Again, it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. I know, it's why I offered. No parents should have to kill her. Why don't we take child. him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Come on, turn, turn, aww. Oh. If he didn't turn by the time they focused on Chuck, they ain't gonna turn. His misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are. What the? No! What the? Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Oh, what's then happened? Why, Cat? Why? Oh, fucking God! <laughs> what the hell happened? What did you? She could. She. 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 Just... Oh, 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 fuck! Oh man, he should have never been, never witnessed that. That can break a man right there. See your wife die. 
kill herself. I could have shown up break a man. What do we do? Oh, I can't. Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. <laughs> oh god, they're actually gonna make me do it. I'm sorry, duck. Good God. <sighs> Six minutes in and someone's already dead. Two people are dead. Tell you didn't talk to Clementine. Hey, how you doing? I don't care what reason you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Cause she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's going to act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun, because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another show up, girl show her. might just do me in. I hear you. Plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean, when we get to Savannah. You got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. 
Man, our you numbers have any are dwindling. Out there, somewhere. It's been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. He's safe <laughs> up here. He's a drunk. Oh, it's not gonna let me move out here? I was lucky enough to get it working once. It's full of maps and documents. Mind if I could buy you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? Uh, hold on, we need to talk about that attitude. It'll be good to get to the water. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Okay, then screw you if you're gonna act like that. I mean, I know your son died, but that's no reason to be an ass. If you're gonna be an ass, I'll just let you die. Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left? Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude, if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See ya. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, there's some whiskey. Let's get the whiskey. Let's get the whiskey. Let's get drunk. It's a fifth of whiskey. I wonder what... It... Disappeared. Where'd it go? We'll talk to Clementine in a minute. Can I go down? Oh, I can't. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, we need to talk to Charles again. Or Chuck. I found this in your package. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. Sure. Ooh. <laughs> Not knowing <laughs> before it's finished. A little kid. That old drunk. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You does not know. Will do. I wonder if, it means if Ben will share a drink with him. I don't know about that. I know Kenny will probably want one. Hey. Yeah. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Ha ha. Alcohol for the win. <laughs> yeah. Ball, not, not, uh, not really. I ain't, I ain't no kind of drunk, really. So, uh, let's see if uh, Kenny's. We can go talk to him outside. Thanks. Ah, oh, dude, I thought we'd go out there and listen in, but apparently not. I don't want to talk to Chuck no more. We've done, done everything we need to out here. I do believe. Have another with Chuck. I wanted to talk to you about mm, excuse my me. from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. <coughs> excuse I'm me. Sure. Cat would be uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. Just wanted to make sure, man, make sure you weren't gonna change on me. Haha, uh -huh, you're a criminal. You suck. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Oh, he don't, he can't share a yeah. drink with him. <laughs> it was me. 
Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? Oh, hold up. It's all my fault. I could kill you. I... I... Nobody can see us. I could toss you over right now and be done with it. No! I... Lee, please! Why shouldn't I? They said they had my friend! I didn't know what to do! Lee, please! I had to tell someone. I bet you did. Can't believe it. We should have just pushed him off. We should have just thrown him out and let Carla and let him get eaten by the walkers instead of instead of uh, Lily. If you remember, Chuck said he had some scissors in his backpack, so maybe it's time for her. <laughs> they look clean enough. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some. Uh, he explained himself and made some good points. Look. I'm not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little, so you can't get grabbed so easily. I like that. Good. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. <sighs> yeah, he's homeless. He probably has had it rough. Had it rough. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing take it but know where your finger is all the time and don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody okay a okay. gun is just an object it's until a person takes a hold of it then it's an extension of themselves to aim you look right down the top through that notch line up the sight at the end with your target is there anything else i should know i know these are just bottles but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. No, don't actually accidentally shoot me. I'm your guardian. Don't shoot me. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay. Let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? okay, she was a little yeah, too far right. left and... I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? She needs to go up a little bit. Yeah, you do. Um, aim bit right. to the right. Aim okay, higher. a little higher. There you go. I got Good it. girl. Excellent. Good shot. <laughs> Endless supply of whiskey bottles. Unlock your elbows, girl. Aim more to the right. Aim a little higher. There you go. There you go. Nice. One more and you'll be a pro. And you'll get a, a magazine of 35 bullets. <laughs> now, kind of like Legend of Zelda has the multiple quivers. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. 
Oh, I bet you that barrel's got to be somewhat hot. That a slide, I mean. Let's do the map. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. If they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, well, that uh, recording ma message the at the, in the first episode didn't sound too good. Were. We can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh, hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. A lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M. M. something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Trusting them not to be able, not to go too overboard. Hey, Clint. Hi. One more thing to do to her: cut her so hair. You're probably not gonna like this. Oh no! What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. <laughs> what? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Because it does. Girl, it stinks so bad it killed a walker from a mile. Got mad. Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, <laughs> we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I can smell that hair I two miles away. It short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Oh my god. Okay. Hmm. You know That's we right. don't have to do this right away. Okay. Good. Are you gonna make me do it now, or? <sighs> Don't want to do it now. Hey, Clint. Cause we might hit a bump, Hi. and I might jab that them scissors into her skull. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Sorry if y'all heard that. I was mumbling to myself. This? Yeah, of course. I, I lied to her. You. Well, good. Good? Means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another valuable survival skill. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. I'm glad you finally <coughs> told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Turn your head, girl. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make That's it true. Good. Doesn't make it a good but thing, you though. Have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here. I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. Uh-oh. All silly game too. They might be possessed by craziness. <laughs> no, she don't like it. Dumb. <laughs> no, you look cute and a lot harder to grab. 
I don't want to be this guy, but is she black, white, or mm -hmm. mixed? I mean, if she's black, it's definitely Good. lighter than. I'm glad we have a plan. She's definitely lighter and than Lee. Little shot. Lighter color Thanks. than Lee. I guess but we should see how far. The, from what I'm looking at, it looks like she's more white. I think y'all heard that. Sorry about that. That was the game. It, it reverberated into my uh, headset. Like I said, I don't know if she's black, white, or mixed. I know she's not. She's not no uh, Spaniard, Spanish, Latino, all that crap. I can't tell what she is. I mean, she's probably a, mi a mi little mixed girl. I mean, I'm not trying to be racist fuck, or nothing, fuck, but fuck, she's a question. Fuck, fuck. I Maybe think he left walk. out one fuck. That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could've just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah. You're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. <laughs> sideways? So does that mean it's gonna flip over? No, I can't go back. I can't go back. I can't go back. I can't go back. I don't want to go up there. It's scary. Anyways, um, in the next episode, we'll be seeing what they want. So, oh, here we go. This is CardMJ3. You want to like, subscribe, comment, favorite, you know, all that good stuff. This has been CardMJ3 signing off. Have a nice day.